welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to play a little bit of catch up for the YouTube, the YouTube Pagan Challenge. Um, <laughs> I am using my cell phone for this, which is like HD. I don't even know if my camera is HD or not, but my cell phone definitely is. And it's picking up a whole situation that's happening on my face. I'm like, it's a hot mess. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I've gotten like a heat rash, like all down the side of one side of my face. And it's a hot mess. Um, anyways, so, um, I know I did, I think week 29 last, but I needed to backtrack because there were a few weeks that I did not do. So I am going, in this video, I'm going to combine two into this one video because I feel like they kind of can go together, so to speak. So um, this is, I lost my place. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is week 26 and 27. So week 26 is, do you or how do you meditate? I do meditate. I have not meditated in quite some time. I just, I can't find the time to do it. I can't find that quiet space sometimes. Um, so, but anyways, when I do, I use guided meditations. I cannot seem to just quiet my mind, um, or at least enough to where I feel like I'm doing something beneficial with meditating. So I do um, guided meditations. And I have a few that I got on my Amazon cloud. Um, I have guided meditations for um, law of attraction, um, a chakra alignment um, meditation, guided meditations. Some are long, some are short. The short one, I think, I think the short chakra one is like 15 minutes. Um, the longer one, I think, is half an hour, just over half an hour. I can't quite remember. I have guided meditations for, um, did I say this already? Meeting your spirit animals or totem animals. Um, a, a goddess guided meditation. So I do things like that. Um, I, um, sometimes when I find myself becoming overly frustrated to the point where I'm just about to snap on people, like I'm just about to go straight off like you know the hood about to come out in me <laughs> kind of thing um I take a moment to close my eyes and I just I breathe in and breathe out and I just keep doing that um until I feel myself calm down so in a way that's like a little short little meditation so to speak at least in my in my eyes um, other than that, I, like I said, I have not meditated lately. It's been some time and I can most definitely tell you, and I was telling my husband this, um, a few days ago, actually, that I've noticed since I have stopped meditating, I get angry quicker, um, Typically, I'm slow to anger. You know, you can you can do the same stupid stuff over and over and over and over again. And I tend not to really get angry. I might start to get a little frustrated or a little peeved, but not like straight anger. Um, unless it's just like one too many times, like that was that was your last time, kind of thing. Um, I've noticed that. Nowadays, it seems like it does not take much to piss me off. And I don't like that. So I have to figure out a way to try to work meditating back <laughs> into my life somehow. I don't know how, but I'm going to find a way. 
because I noticed that I'm not as calm as I used to be and I'm not as patient as I used to be. And I catch myself when I feel like I'm going to snap at the girls. I catch myself and I'm like, whoa, 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 chill. <laughs> so um, that I need to do. So question um, or week 27's question is, do you use chants, mantras, or affirmations? And yes to all three. Um, I do affirmations almost every day. Um, I have some again on my Kindle Cloud. So especially when I feel like I'm having a low day, um, I have some... Um, uh, I'll play on my computer. Um, I also, um, I don't do this every day either, and not even really every week, but I, I have um, bouts of doing this where I will, every day for a while, I'll write down affirmations every day as well as um, gratitude, uh, stuff by the end of the day that I'm grateful for. Um, I found this affirmation challenge online a while back, and I have it in one of my first bullet journal. I, I printed it out and pasted it in there. And every day of the month, you say this one affirmation throughout the day. And it's really, really nice. And I need to transfer that into my new bullet journal. <laughs> um... I do chants and mantras as well. Again, I have all of those on my candle, um, plus some, I have like a chant mantra or chant something, I can't remember what it's called, playlist on my YouTube channel. Um, I especially play the chants during um, ritual work. Um, no matter how <clears throat> how small or how brief it's going to be, um, because I don't have time for like long elaborate rituals. Um, initially, I never did ritual. Um, I didn't feel comfortable. I felt like I wasn't ready for years and years and years. Um, and then when I started, I kind of just um, I felt like I was kind of going through the motions. So I kind of cut that out. And then I started doing um, rituals just for the sabbats. And then um, two kids made it very hard to do. <laughs> um, <clears throat> as my youngest, uh, no, my oldest, I'm sorry. As my oldest girl got older, I was able to do ritual for sabbats. And then as I was having my second child... Um, part of the pregnancy was, it was a little harder for me. Not that I had any, you know, serious conditions or medical conditions while I was pregnant. Um, but I went through a lot more pain and discomfort. So things that I could do before during my first pregnancy, I learned I could not do during my second one. So I stopped doing rituals for sabbats. And I've not yet done any <laughs> since I've had her um, because she takes up all of my time. And by the time I put her to bed, I'm so zapped for the day that it's like, I just want to veg. I want to veg out. <laughs> so, but whenever I do, whenever I do find the time to get in some kind of ritual here or there, it might just be something to connect with um, deity or something, um... I play chants in the background on my Kindle or on my laptop. Um, and I it puts me, it helps to prepare me. Um, and by that I mean it gets me in that mindset to where I'm in a place mentally to connect to deity, to connect to spirit. Um, mantras I also do that I tend to do a little bit more often than I do um, affirmations sometimes um, I mainly do a mantra to 
um, Ganesh. And sometimes when I feel like I'm lacking <laughs> sympathy or compassion in certain situations, like these people have really irked my soul. I really, and then it's like, no, don't go there. You need to come back step back and you really need to find that compassionate space um people always accuse me of being able to make excuses for other people all the time and it's not i feel i'm not making excuses i'm just trying to understand why people do what they do and so to me there is an explanation it's not an excuse there are psychological emotional explanations behind what people do good or bad so I try to reach back into that compassionate space, which allows me to examine why a person is doing something, even if it's pissing me off. So I would do um, chants, a chant to White Tara. So I mainly do Ganesh chants, mainly to Ganesh, sometimes White Tara. I have in the past done... Ch I have in the past done, I have done chants ugh, for Lakshmi as well. Um, but typically overall, I say I do more affirmations than anything else. Um, I always want to remain in that positive space. Um, I always want to keep an upbeat outlook on life. I always try to project positivity. So I do affirmations more often than not and especially when I'm feeling low that's when I break out the <laughs> affirmations on my cloud as opposed to my own personal um, affirmations that just come to mind what I should say so um, that is it for this catch-up portion for um that is my husband's tablet just chirping away <laughs> um that's it for my update so far. I think I have one more week to catch up with, and I'm going to do... No, I think two, because I'm also behind for this week, or maybe the week before. Anyways, thank you for watching, and blessed be.